Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. They expect that they will be allowed to use technology. I did a slide a long time ago, maybe three, four years ago, that was called Tease of Transformation. And what it was about was basically taking principles in the business community and placing it on the concept of poverty. Poverty is one of those things that people get stuck in or stay in. They get stuck in it if people attack their life and keep abusing them in some sort of way. They use litigation abuse by police and gaslighting to harm people. Families use mental illness harassment, which is a fictitious lie, to get themselves more inheritance. Community people use physical assault and abuse to try to train someone or improve upon them or teach them some moral lesson that's not their lawful right under any law in the world to teach someone. Today, however, we have a different space. We have a different place in some communities that are putting in ordinances to produce the acts of hate. Hatred is a crime. Hate crimes happen all the time. Hate crimes are something you carry in your soul. When someone of a particular ethnic group does something foolish, they end up doing something foolish on behalf of their community. I am finding that the keys on my keyboard are being monkeyed with by technology vandalists. Those people are called, what, stalkers to one degree. They're also called hackers to another, and the black cat tricks that they're using practically shows me that there's something of my intellectual property that some little motherfucker has to have for himself. Well, let me tell you, fraud is a pretty serious charge by the FBI, and so is identity theft. So when you got into bags last night because you thought you were so fucking funny that you were going to teach a moral lesson and rip somebody's clothing, do you understand that you committed a hate crime? Do you also understand that you vandalized very expensive clothing? And that was not your lawful right. Does someone walk into your fucking house or into your car and fuck around with you? I don't think so, and you can stand there against the wall fucking and puffing your little fucking cigarette, but here's the problem. You got an addiction, and you can't fucking walk away from it. And your company's not paying you for your fucking addiction to play with people on behalf of your company. Let me remind the motherfucking assholes of the retail community. If you have met someone or if you have passed by someone while you're in a fucking shirt for a company, you just put your whole fucking life at risk to your company. Nobody seems to remember the Taco Bell incident, but I do quite well. I was pretty young when that happened, when that stupid bitch did something stupid on a video. I can say anything I fucking want to on a video because FCC doesn't apply to YouTube. But let me tell you, motherfucker, you keep getting into my bags, that's a criminal felony. Your hate crime against my life is a paltry attempt. You're such a pansy-ass little coward that you don't do one fucking thing in front of somebody. You just walk up, you play your game, and you walk away. But when someone's sleeping, you attack their life like a pansy-ass little girl.